Hi, and welcome back to Break 100 Golf. I'm John. You're gonna to love today's video because I'm gonna play Outpost 87 designed by R. Dyer on GS Pro using the Garmin R10. Now at any point, if you like this video while you're watching it, please hit that like button. It'll really allow this video to be shown to way more people. It'll be the greatest honor you can give to me. Let's get started. I'm gonna play the back nine at Outpost 87. It is a fictional golf course entirely indoors. Basically, it's inside of a dome. Like this would be something if we colonized Mars, this looks like something that would be inside of a dome on Mars. It's really incredible. And I wasn't so sure about it at first until I went through all the holes. It's absolutely incredible. I've played a couple of the holes. I think you're gonna love it too. All right, this is hole number 10. It is a par three, 222 yards on the back nine at outpost 87. I'm gonna hit a hybrid on this one. And I do have this turned on auto putt uh, because I am using the Garmin R10. Hopefully I didn't hit that too far. It's good distance. It's not gonna hold the green. All right, so 14 yards to the pin. I'm going to hit a 60 degrees. Hopefully I can get it to stop in the auto putt circle. Stop. All right, so that'll be par. All right, on to hole number 11. All right, hole number 11 is 453 yards and it is a par four. I'm gonna hit a driver. All right, that'll be on the fairway. Two hundred and about 272 yard drive. So we have got 189 to the pin. I'm gonna hit an easy five on this one. All right, we're going left. Not so easy, I guess. Went 208 yards. That's all right, 28 yards of the pin. I'll pop a uh, 60 degree over this bunker, hopefully, and get it to stop. That would be great. Stop. Ah, yes. All right, so that is par. So we start with a couple of good pars. Our next hole is 181 yards. It is a par three over that tree. I'm gonna hit a seven iron. Going left again. Get out of the bunker. All right, we're good. All right, so 24 yards to the pin. I gotta straighten my blade out or aim a little bit more right on these swings. Same thing with this one, I'll hit a 60 degree so that I can get it to stop it in the circle. That's perfect. All right, another par. Next hole is 296 yards. I'm sure a lot of you could probably drive this one, but I don't think I can. I'm gonna try to fade it around that tree best I can with a driver. Well, we got it to fade. 
Perfect. Nice. 260 yard drive. We've got 36 yards to the pin. Same thing, 36 yards. I'm gonna try to get this to stop with a 60 degree. That's gonna go left. All right, gotta get it in here for par. Get in the hole. Nope. All right, that's fine. That's par. All right, four pars to start. I need a birdie. Next is a par five. 488 yards. So, should be able to drive this one fairly straight. Well, we're definitely not gonna be on the fairway. All right, so we're in the rough. 207 to the pin. No way that's gonna be close. Just too much of a penalty coming out of the rough. All right, so 42 yards. I'm gonna hit a 56 degree. Let's try to get it close. Slow down, slow down. Ah, we're not gonna make it. Good try, but we ended up with a par on that one, nice. All right, next hole is hole number 15, par four, 334 yards. Definitely didn't want to go there, but uh, 278 yard drive. And we have got a problem because we're behind the trees. 43 yards to the pin. So how am I going to get through there? Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll just hit a lob wedge, try to get it through that tree. Get through there. Get through there. Yes. Uh, all right, still got work to do. All right, 29 feet, let's see if we can get this one to stop in the circle. Get in there. Yes! There's the bird. All right, next hole is hole number 16, par five, 489 yards. We got a massive amount of hazards on this hole. Let's do a flyover on this one. Well, I don't know if we're gonna hold the fairway. Yes, we are. All right, good. 271 yard drive. We've got 226 left of the hole, so uh, I'm gonna hit a hybrid here. Honestly, I don't even care if I get it in the bunker down there. I just wanna get it down there. I can still end up with birdie, even if I put it in the bunker. That was hit. Get up there. Get up there. Let's go. All right, that's gonna two putt me there. All right, so that's birdie. Our next hole is hole number 17 is a par four, 364 yards. 
Very narrow fairway on this one. I'm not really worried about keeping the fairway on this. I just don't want to end up in a bunker. But uh, let's see what we can do. All right, that's good. We got it down there about 256 yards. Unfortunately on that one, I had come outside in a little bit, so it really killed my distance, even though the swing speed was 102. Probably lost about a good 10, 15 yards of distance. All right, so 127 of the pin, uphill eight feet. So that's really gonna be 135. I'm gonna hit an easy nine. Get up there. Stop, spin, get in there. Oh, hit the pin. All right, birdie, birdie, birdie. All right, hole number 18, it is a par four, 411 yards. Got water, but that shouldn't be a problem. Nice fairway finder right there. 200 and about 258 yard drive. 148 to the pin, uphill six feet. So that should still be a nine iron. It's going left. That's all right. It carried exactly 148, so no, one, 146. So I had the right club. All right, so hopefully this is my last shot. Lob wedge, 11 yards. Get this stop in the circle. Well, that was certainly not a good shot. So, Ended up with bogey in that. So we shot 34 in the back nine. Pretty happy with that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, this is a really, really cool golf course. There is nothing like it on GS Pro. Uh, I would have liked to have used putting on this one, but I cannot putt with my Garmin. I don't have webcam putting set up. Well, I certainly do hope you enjoyed today's content playing Outpost 87 designed by R. Dyer. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button and share it with any of your friends that may be interested in GS Pro or just golf simulation in general because that's what my channel is all about. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.